fun. He gets to see the cats. Welcome back, Mango3M here. We're going to continue with uh, Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, we'll do the main quest. Uh, the goal here was trying to get to White Mage eventually, but I'm going to see if there's any key quests that we want to knock out while we're in the area as well. So it sounds like we have the game going. There we are. Alright, so we're looking. Um, all I did offline was I went to all the uh, these little blue node things and I alerted them. And as soon as I got all of them, they gave me access to other places. So I have an easier access to everything now in the city, like the airship and stuff like that. But we're still going to continue. I think we had to finish this one quest. <clears throat> we'll find out shortly. Or a while, actually. Can I have to Here's the quest. It's weird, they show me this map, but they don't tell me where the quest is. I think it's up here. Yeah, I think it's up here. Figured out auto run if you push R, your character just starts running. Straight into the giant horse. Now let's hope we can find it. Okay, so this is a quest they want me to beat these F things. Let's go ahead and do this important quest here. Oh, this is the quest. How many? What level is this? Quest. Level 10. Yeah. Alright, let's see if we can get this one right now.
There you go. That's a little better. No, okay. Okay, we need to go to Horizon next. Let's check and see which character we have. Is that Western panel on? <coughs> yes. Yeah, we need to 
finish this quest, then we might as well go to the rising wall in this direction. Send me back here. This auto. Ah. Alright, I'm going to Horizon with it. That it's really good. Really, really, really. It lies to me. You're sending me to the wrong place. Assistance is greatly appreciated. 
may be staying in Horizon Long. If so, there's much and more you can do to help you. quest for real. Right and breathing. Wonderful. It is so much simpler to pose questions to a student without having to resort to necromantic divination. Tell me, Mangler, what action would you take if you found your thermal fluid? 
thermaturgical endurance exhausted in the midst of battle. Flee, brandish my scepter as a club. Yes, the scepter is certainly a lethal instrument of death. Your death, you hilarious fool. Remember your the first chapter? We do not close distance with our enemies. We will certainly do not hit them for our, with our finely crafted tools of thermaturgy. Pray and consider replenishing your energies with a vial of ether before humiliating yourself in melee combat. Ah, ether. The draught of the cake gods. The thermaturgies are indeed any who practice the arts of arcane manipulation value this substance above all others. Thus it was with unbridled fury that we received the most recent report of beast mimicry. It seems that Amulja a raiding, raiding party that was attacked, has attacked a caravan on the trade routes and made off with an entire crate of precious ether. The time has come for you to put, it, put your new knowledge to the test. Annihilate these bandits and retrieve the cargo of ether from the vials. According to the report, their armored war transport was last spotted to the south of Dryhill. Uh, and I believe Kokobuki has an additional quest. While you're busy incinerating a little job, you better be sure to collect some samples of your blood, assuming you can draw any of their smoke and blood. Aha, that's it. Okay. So we have to go up here, central part of the line.
so if you beat one a certain number of times, it throws in. Stenches on all just blood. Oh, oh, ten vials, twenty thirty, the sight of so much ether is just so very comforting. Here, Coco Bunny. Is this the crate that was stolen? I see many of those lessons have had a, a desired effect. Mm -hmm. I assume the vile, viscous 
the point you have there is peace to the blood, Coco Lucy should be at peace. Coco Buki, last word for me to visit the Osamori. Have you finally decided to begin my training in commentary? Ah, Coco Lucy. Good to Good of you to come. The angler here was kind enough to obtain the supply of humble gentlemen for you. An alchemist acquaintance of mine explained how you had been using the substance in your research to create a mana amplifying elixir. Naturally, we are most interested in the results of such experiments. So you see, Boosie, your work as an alchemist already put, puts out puts you in a position to work alongside us. You needn't become a thumaturge to be part of our family. That's right, Boosie. Besides, the battlefield is a dangerous place, and our skills are not exactly suited for keeping others safe from harm. I see. But I, th this is but another attempt to dissuade me from pursuing my true folly. I do not want you to cheer you on from the safety of my workbench. I want to fight at your side. Boo Boosie. We just cannot stand the thought of you being harmed. Pray do not do anything foolish. Ahem, <laughs> Mangler. If you're done here, I would speak with you further. Kokobusi is dangerously and unsuited to the wielding of thaumaturgy. Even with the proper training, he would be unable to evoke the smallest flicker of flame. Were he to attempt to force the manifestation of power, the strain on his woefully inadequate etheric reserves would likely kill him. Ah, but I did not request your presence to discuss my brother's tragic circumstance. You have completed every trial set before us you thus far. I believe you have success you are sufficient, sufficiently entrenched in the abyss of thaumaturgy that a sojourn to another guild would not duly affect your studies. Within the walls of Olda, you might miss the Cubalist skill, train at the feet of Hammond Holy Fist, or cross blades with First Sword Myla of the Gladiator's Guild. Or, should you tire from the demands of battle, there are guilds that offer instruction in the trades of mining, goldsmithing, and alchemy. I believe there is a guild that teaches mining of all things. I should hope, of course, that thaumaturgy remains your first and foremost obsession. Do not absent yourself for, from us for too long, man. All right, I think we finished our main stuff. We get a hat that's equal to our current one. Gloves that are worse and everything else is worse, so I guess I'll take the money. Armory is unlocked. We now have access to armory. And we level up, we're up to 19. We now have access to classes. Okay. Martial classes and harvesting classes. Wow, okay, so I think, I'm guessing, that I can now get over to become a white mage. Let's see what he has. Guildmaster Rokobuki urges you to delve deeper into the yawning abyss of commentary. Come, Mango, the yawning abyss beckons once more. Today, Coco Bezzi will instruct you on the chapter entitled The Crack of Superiority. You are come to for your lesson, Mango? Then heed well my words. The Threat of Superiority. Ah, how magnificent the intimidating power we wield. Flames sear the air. Ice frosts the ground, lightning flashes with blinding incandescence. But not all are cowed by our elemental fury. Ignite not your flames, summon not your ice, and strike not with your lightning. 
Only this threat can stand your hand against such foes. Once you cut away all the overblown imagery, the passage draws attention to the important tactic. A wise to encourage you. does not engage in battle against opponents he cannot defeat. A fine example would be avoiding conflict with all those multitude of furious merchants. These soulless, ravening creatures are afflicted with the madness of insatiable avarice. Do you perhaps recall the crate of ether you retrieved from the Almojah bandits? Well, a number of irate peddlers have arrived at the guild with the gall to demand recompense for the few measly vials we emptied as our just reward. Alright, yes, we drink the entire bloody box. But the point is that the guild cannot present me afford to pay such a sum. Thus I pass you on pass on to you the secret of my last and most potent defense. Shameless weeping. I'm not speaking of a few tears here. I want you to stride right up to these tyrannical traitors and cry your eyes out. Sorrow before the raging merchant. Why, alright, alright, son. I know you're the one who chased down those Amoja brutes for us. I'll let it go this one time for your sake. Well, you, you needn't cry about a few vials of ether, lad. I tell you what. You dry your eyes for me, and I'll take care of the loss out of my own purse. It's not that, oh dear, I'm not angry at you, you understand. It's those five ether addled brothers I take issue with. You tell them the next time this happens. I'll have the price taken out of their unprincipled hides. A masterful performance, Mangler. The sniffling was a nice touch. We will, however, encounter foes who are unmoved by such piteous wailings. Take this recent request, for instance, which I have nominated to serve as your next trial. A team of scholars has asked for a thermoturge to destroy a cursed relic, the unearth known as the Momo's Urn. While pottery is, by and large, immune to tears, it is the Alcran Alcran thieves that subsequently stole it that concern me. The Alcran are a are an organization of criminals not normally known for their gentle and understanding dispositions. Rather than attempting to engage in the entire game of their thoughts, I would suggest you neutralize the threat to your person with a well-timed sleep spell. The Alacran have been seen traveling in the southeast of Dragon. Find them, destroy the enemy. Okay, so we have to get back in the
Mark is there. Cronies 
are not more than a pair of jackal, pack of jackals. They prey on the people of Lost Hope, robbing them from, of what little they have. I cannot, I myself cannot act without endangering the refugees, as they know my face and will retaliate against <clears throat> Lost Hope. You, however, are not known to the bandits of the Allies. If you wish to help us, then deal with me. This is to the east. Where's the other one? Forging the spirit.
so it is done. Good. I hope that wretch died screaming. All that is more prosperous than ever, some say. There may be some. That may be true for the syndicate, but none of that wealth is true for God for the small folk. It's all a mummer's farce. One day I refused to play my part. And so I was made to leave the stage. I, my time is past. The brass plates of the rose I must look to others. Captain Leo for the uh, other day. Thank you for delivering the letter for me. Take the antique dagger. Well, why do you have the dagger? Only Captain Brass plays the rose is permitted to possess it. Captain Leo for it says I am to have it. There must be some mistake. He couldn't possibly mean to tell me that. No, 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 of course not. I am not worthy to wield it. Nevertheless, I shall respect the captain's wishes and take the dagger. Dagger into safekeeping until he comes through. Alright, we can now accept the next job quest. Treat required. They gave me a lot of new crates. Fulupa needs your assistance.
great an adventure come to help. I ain't heard nothing from Captain Baldwin about this. He said trusted men only. Any road, we've got this under control. Besides, this operation ain't got nothing to do with the flu The boy's got a stick the size of a sabotender. It's no wonder the captain told him to stay at the horizon. West and south to the village, tell Raffi that he needs to deliver a bounty of fresh fish to Horizon for the feast. is sudden, but I have no one else to turn to. Last night a gang of bandits from the Quiverin Mance were in their cups, and I overheard them discussing their plans. Seems they've come to collect gemstones stolen from the Cooperville mines. A nauseous sight, I think I heard one say. They are to meet with their co-conspirator soon at the footfalls. Well, what did you say? Illicit mess exchanges and shadowy dealings, the brass blades cannot abide such malfeasance. Malfeasance. Forgive my eavesdropping, Mangler. I come to Crescent Crove merely to thank you in person. I never imagined I'd uncover a criminal conspiracy right outside Horizon's gates. We must act quickly if we're to apprehend these thieves. I will notify Captain Baldwin at once. No, wait, you mustn't. Oh, guys. You must. Stop him before it's too late. Captain Baldwin himself is working with the bandits. He's not far. said there was a PvP Duty calls, commence battle for them. Level 18. Bring it on. Baldwin, sir. I've discovered something shocking, something horrible. Someone has been stealing gemstones from Cooperville Mines and... 
Wait, those gauntlets, those boots, why? You're one of the Quiverin's men, aren't uh, men. Sir, this man is a thief and a scoundrel. And what of it? His coin's good. And that's what counts. What? Captain Baldwin, are you working with these men? It can't be. I told you to stay in Horizon, Fufalupa. Didn't have to be like this. They get their nauseous shite, and I get my guilt, and then it would be the wiser. For what, sir? What if the crimes were uncovered? And Lord Lolorito finds out. You fool, don't you see? I'm acting under the authority of Lord Lolorito himself. No, no, it can't be true. Why do you think people join the Brass Blades, Fufalupa? To serve and protect. Ha! We're not the bloody flames here. We did this for the coin. You there, adventurer. Do you remember me? Well, I remember you. I am Sir Baron Von Quiverin Ford Esquire. You killed my brother, and now I'm going to return the favor. Well, that settles it. It's clearly in everyone's best interest that both of you die. Partner's dead, your plans are undone, you've no reason left to fight. Stay out of this, Leofric. I don't take orders from you. I may be spared your life before I may have spared your life before, but if you interfere, I will not show you mercy. And what mercy will he show you, I wonder? You who have done so much in another man's name. What are you blathering on about? Every fisherman in Crescent Grove knew about your meeting, you arrogant fool. Quiverin's man, men couldn't keep their mouths shut. Imagine Lord Lolorito's surprise when he learned that a rank-and-file brass blade 
was using his name to advance a personal agenda. Who knows? Oh no. But I'm a captain. He wouldn't. I was a captain too, remember? And we both know what happened to me. Well fought, boy. We've done the brass blades of the rose crowd. Captain Leofric, Captain Baldwin, he he said that Lord Lolorito. Lord Lolorito wouldn't waste his time on a small scale smuggling operation. This is all about Baldwin through. What else did he say? That all our brethren are no better and that each and every one of cares for naught but coin. Ha! A mere excuse to justify his schemes. Aye, we've no shortage of greedy sides. Some would who'd probably sell their own mothers into slavery if the price was right. But there are men like you, Fufu, but men good and true, whom the small folk respect. Which is why I gave you the dagger. The brass blades of the rose need a leader with honor. And you, you're the most honorable man I know. Captain! Thank you for all your help, Mangler. The captain and I will escort Captain Baldwin back to Horizon. Pray visit me in town when you return. Next return.
Wow, Mangler, it's been too long. Dad and then tells me you've been keeping busy on the horizon. I want you to know that I'm grateful for everything you've done for the people of Old. Even though you've seen the seedier side of our city, you've continued to help our, your fellow man. Believe me, the folk around here love you for it. Hmm? What is it? You look like you got something to say. Yes, I certainly do. So what's this all about? Fufu Lupus thinking Owen made the ball. This letter could be proof of something shady. We need he needn't worry. Owen's as loyal loyal a sworn sworn as I've ever seen. I haven't the foggiest what this says, but <clears throat> wait a minute, wasn't Owen the one who Oh no! I've got a bad feeling about this. This is a I think I know what this is about. I need to swear to keep it quiet. If you'd rather wash your hands of this business, I won't hold it against you. But if you're determined to see it through the bitter end, say the word and I'll explain. Unlock storytelling too. Can I count on your discretion, Mangler? If so, then listen closely. Momodi wishes to enlist the aid of the trusted friend of Owen. I'm going to get a ring. The outside world believes Olda to be a sultanate ruled by Sultana Namamo Ul Namo. Truth is, though, it's the six wealthiest citizens that hold the most sway, the syndicate. Be that as it may, the Sultana still got the support of the people. But she might struggle if to keep even that if a certain incident becomes public knowledge. It pains me to say, but her grace's crown, the symbol of the royal dynasty, has been stolen. And Owen, Owen's the sultan sworn, who was charged with guarding it that night. I'd be... I'd bet anything this letter was written by the guys who made off with the crown. It can't be a coincidence that a man we know to have been fraternizing with thieves has had a letter for Owen of all people at this of all times. You need to take this to the man himself, Mangler. Tell him Amodi sent you and that it concerns they lost the heirloom. It, if it looks as though the fellow needs help, I want you to lend it to him. The future of our fair city may depend on it. Alright, let's see where he is. He's probably... he's over here. Over by my Oh, 
Does that mean it's higher? Does it mean it's for any signs, any whispers as to the whereabouts of the crown, and they found nothing. The identity of the thieves and their motives seemed fate, fated to remain a mystery until you arrived bearing this ransom. In it, the criminals state their price for the return of Her Grace's crown. And though it came from the say, I fear I have no choice but to acquiesce, and acquiesce to, to their demands. Too much is at stake to do otherwise. The crown symbolizes Her Grace's birthright and identifies her as a custodian of the UI legacy. It must be recovered. I will travel to the unholy air and pay them their ransom. Though I am not foolish enough to meet these men alone as they stipulate, I dare not bring a host of comrades lest the thieves take fright. Friend, would you consent to be present for the exchange? Mistress Mamoni has always spoken of you in the most glowing terms, and I have never yet had reason to question your judgment. On behalf of those still loyal to the Sultana, I beseech you. Help us in our hour of need. Yeah, on so it's even the next thing 